Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy Ledger Ronnie and today we are inspecting the new Rock PC app or the updated Rock PC app. I want to say the new because it almost completely changes the Rock PC app and there is crazy changes that are really good and there is crazy changes that are super bad. So let's start with the first bad because if I'm going to keep doing this for a little while, I'm going to go nuts. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So right now, let me just uh, show the, the resolution. If I go on my settings, I'm also going to show you a couple of other updates as well that are very visible, not all of them. My main focus is the Rock PC app to showcase it in the, this video. So I go to the settings. You see my resolution is windowed 1920 1080, which means I can still see my bar on, on the bottom. And for example, Let's say I want to go and, and click on my recording program. <laughs> Look what's happening. Right. I want to go reach my portrait. And by accident, I move a little bit more on the right. Look what's happening. Or you want to go to your troops and you move a little bit here. Like you want to select the last one and you miss by a little bit. You're continually going on the left side. So these things drive me crazy. This is completely bad. But they've done something really good. So let me just go and show you how to fix this. You go to the settings, you go to the short shortcuts, you go to the control settings, allow screen edge movement. Hell no. Screen edge movement speed, we don't need anything. Just go to the zero. When enable camera move, speed slowly increase when cursor is at the screen edge. No, just, just cancel this, trust me. And then on the bottom, since we are on the same settings, you have camera zoom. This is how fast you want to zoom in and out. So for example, I really like zooming in slower because this also helps when you check a talent tree. So for me, this is very helpful. So I, I keep it very low. Now let's reset. Let's close this. Oh, you see, I'm at the edge. Nothing is happening. Life quality changes. <laughs> My screen is no longer jumping around. So how I'm moving my screen right now is by using the left click, holding it on the screen and you can move all the way or using your arrows. But because I said the speed very slow, <laughs> you see how slow it's going. It's going very, very slow. That's because I said the speed. So with, with this mouse, you can zoom in, zoom out using the mouse wheel as well move left and right but with the arrows it's going very very slow so let's go back to the shortcuts and let's see if we increase this by a little bit oh there you go the arrows are much faster now this is the up down arrow left right arrows this is the one that i'm using right now now let's go back to the settings let's go back to the shortcuts control settings and let's just pump this boy up Let's see what we can do. Oh, there you go. So if you really want to move really fast, you can use, use the arrows or you can hold your click. Now, the second big changes I'm going to show you in just a moment. Probably what you all want to hear about and see about, but I've already done a video, is when you check someone else's information. You can't see their dead troops, resource gathered, resource assistance. But this is not all. And just bear with me. You go to your settings, you go to your resources, <laughs> and the resource gathering rank is still here. So why did they hide <laughs> the resource gathered when the rank is still here? It's just mind-blowing, isn't it? In 2025, they will announce Rock PC Beta version 2, and when the game is dead, they will officially release it. I have no idea. But anyway... <clears throat> They probably didn't thought about it since they probably don't play much. They didn't know that there is rankings. The second thing that I wanted to show you about in the shortcuts, you go to your settings, you go to your shortcuts. It's the first one on the mouse. So you see you have two options here. Drag, Alt and drag, and then you have drag, Alt and drag. So you're probably wondering what is what they are both doing. So the first one is what you have seen me doing already is being able to click on the screen with the left click and being able to move around and zooming out and all that. And by alt and drag, 
I'm right now holding the ALT button with my left hand is being able to select troops. Right? You are able to do that. So you don't have to press one button like it used to be on the Rock PC app. Now it's Control A and you can't change this from the shortcuts I'm going to show you. Or if you want to select all of them, it's Control Shift A. Control plus Shift plus A. Or Control A. I still need to get used to it. That's why I'm, I'm throwing an eye there. I'm still trying to get used to it with the Control A. Or you simply press Alt and you select all of them. And I'm going to show you more cool tricks about Draw PC app, which is going to be mind-blowing. But let's just get easy steps. Let's just get one at a time. Highlight selected troops, selected targets. Right, so when disabled, unselected troops avatar will no longer appear transparent. So if that was a problem for you and, and you weren't enjoying it because you were clicking on one march and everything else became transparent, then you can disable it, which is exactly what I've done right now. But let's go to the shortcuts. And let me show you what the second option does. So now I have selected the second option on the mouse and I'm trying, you see, I'm trying to move the way I used to, just holding the mouse and I cannot. But what it does, as you see my, my left hand is here, I don't have to click on my alt button in order to select. So I can stay on the same screen and I can select my troops as much as you want. Your screen will not jump left, will not jump right, you're focused on that screen. So in a motorball fight situation, that is a very nice shortcut to use. And if you really want to move, you can use your arrows or you can press the ALT button. So you can press the ALT button and you move just normally as you were doing it before. But you have to press a button, which kind of helps you lock in on a zone, right? So you're not going to move left and right by accident or you want to double tap your, your marchers and it's accidentally jump somewhere because you're locked which is really good and you can hold the alt and then you can move left and right and you, you also have the freedom of selecting your troops if you want to select only two you want to select only four you want to select all of them this is really cool change which i would highly recommend to use it during war and obviously try to get used to it so now because i'm on the open world it's much more favorable and it's no, it's no war right now. It's much more favorable to use the first one. On the shortcut, Alt-Enter is full screen. Enter, disable chat window. It seems to be Enter. Governor profile, VIP, city map, uh, mail, etc., etc. Things that not really interesting. And this is where it says camera up, down, right, left is the arrows that I was also showing you. And you can also change this if you want. For example, you want to put your camera up, you want to put it S or you want to put it W, you can do that. I prefer to leave it for now to leave the arrows. But for example, if you just want to use your left hand on the keyboard, like you are playing an FPS game, you use W, S, A, D, use those four buttons to move around. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, you have Q, E, R. Uh, whatever buttons are close to your left hand, then definitely you can set it up like that. It really leaves room for that. And now let me let me show the other cool thing, which is the troops. I mean, the first one is pretty bad because we used to have two buttons. We used to have one button to select all the troops on the screen and we used to have one button to select all the troops from the map. So now you have to press Ctrl A, select all troops on the screen, select all troops is Ctrl Shift A. I think that's going to be a little bit of a, of a bummer, but they've added other cool changes over here. Armies is J, troops 1, basically just selecting individual troops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Set selected troops to formation 1. I'm going to show you how this works, because this is a very cool trick. Add selected troops to formation there is shift one and there is control and then is select formations so what does this say is um, pre-selecting your marches and creating formations so for example you want two marches in one formations you want two marches in another formation you want three marches in another formation you can set them up one two three and you only select um, those marches 
which this can be very helpful in viral situations such as sorting a flag. Like it is an infantry flag, you want to select only your archers. If you pre-select it, if you've done it before in one of the formation, you press one button, you select only your archers and you go and swarm that flag. Because we've all seen it plenty of times in the reports when you're swarming an infantry garrison with calves, it is it's pretty, pretty bad trades. So you could save up your calves, for example, when it's an archer garrison or rally and so on. Return selected troops to the city and camp selected troops. So I'm pressing Alt right now and I'm selecting these two troops. I'm pressing Control 1. Now I'm pressing Alt and I'm selecting these two troops and I'm pressing Control plus 2. Now watch this. Right, so I'm not using the mouse. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So I'm pre these are pre-selected formations. Now it says that you can add a troop to a formation. So this should be Shift 2. I selected this and it added the march in the formation. And now if I press 1, it automatically removed that march from that formation. So I want this march back, so I'm pressing Shift 1 and now it's back in the formation. Wait, wait, wait. SS. It works. <laughs> so I camped all my marches while they were returning. Let's just press one, two. Yeah, you return. That's life quality changes. You just press one button. Two S. I stopped it. <laughs> so once you get a, a hang of it, I think the Rock PC app is going to be the next best thing to fight from because it's very easy to control. The only thing that I didn't like is the way they change it. Like if you want to select all, you have to press Control A. That's a little bit disturbing. But what they've done with the selecting formation and, and pre-selecting and all that, it's really cool. Now, what I want to check is getting all the marches inside, yet yeah, nothing. So let me see if I get them out, if it remembers the, the formations. So I'm just going to get them out. Let's presume you refreshed, right? Because this is very important. Like, do you have to do this every single time after you refresh? So I got them out and they are gone. Which means that every time you refresh your marches, you have to redo the formation. So now you have to alt, alt select if that's what you want and just put them back in formation. And then you alt select and you put them back in formation and you have them again. Which means that every time you take your troops out, if you really want to micromanage your marches, you have to select them every single time. I thought that this is going to be like life-changing qualities for Ark of Osiris or Osiris League because you'll have pre-selected formation. But if you have to do this every time you get out of the city, it might not be so cool. Because it would have been nice because there is many players in Ark of Osiris or Osiris League that only send like two or three marches in the middle. So it would be really cool to just press one button and you only select your middle marches. You... You won't select your um, your marches that are reinforcing. But right now, you already seen that you have the sidebar where you see all your marches. And they left the room, so you're going to see the 6 and the 7 in KVK. But for Ark of Osiris, Osiris League, now it's going to be very easy. You don't have to scroll through the bar up and down. You have them all here. And if F1, F2, F3, and whatever is very hard for you to select, you can go with... Uh, you can go from the settings and you can set it up and you can go with one, one and two. Um, so you don't have the formations on one and two. You can put, put the formations of on F1, F2. So I find this uh, to be really nice changes to the Rock PC app. I think um, a lot of great things and a lot of uh, maneuverability we will see from players now with all these changes on the Rock PC app. And I really want to hear your thoughts about the Rock PC app. Because I know uh, I, I know I know about the changes, about the dead troops. You can also see the, the skins from the Next Osiris League. The Next Osiris League also started. So for example, this is the legendary skin, which what I can say about it is I would sacrifice 10% calf defense to have an all troops health. 
right and a 3% training i think this is a nice skin if you'll manage to get it let me just go into the dark mode it's like too shiny to be honest the stats are, are very good i think this will, will be a really nice skin to have because yeah 10% calf defense is definitely something but in the end you get 3% troops so your infantry gets 3% your archers get 3% your calves get 3% so it kind of negates all that calf defense that you have as, as negative so yeah cool cool skin in my opinion what i don't like about um, the rock pc app is how they put the icons so right now the icons are very small they used to be bigger and you don't have to open the menu anymore from the right side as you see on the right down corner is where i'm looking at right now you see that everything is there you don't have the opening like like it used to be you have them all there but way smaller and they've also reworked the chat now you can also add pictures such as many people wanted to add i don't know memes and various other things let me just try to see if it works to add one all right so i managed to add a picture so it's working you can definitely add add pictures which is really cool you have a lot more emojis now you have all the emojis wow this is crazy so when someone is expecting me it shows my power there's probably just the commander and the buildings so people are asking me if i got zeroed so that's crazy so why does it show his power on my profile you, you can see on the left up corner it's very visible that this is his power i'm 161 billion power so he didn't got zeroed anyways probably small glitches fixes that they need to do whatever not my business and then they added uh, achievements which by the way when i logged in it was keep going on keep going on let me just check the email yeah let's see the system email achievement unlocked achievement unlocked achievement 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 maintenance complete as well so they added a champion achievement undaunted unstoppable you walk the path into the unknown okay sounds really cool so looks like i can already get two of the rewards let's see there is a name plague and there is a frame oh how about that there is a frame as well so let's see what do i get three gold keys wow let's see this is gonna be two golden stars no, this is five epic stars. Are you kidding me? I was needing this for my Imhotep to get into five star. Thank you. Wow. I so needed this. It's crazy. How did they know? They know, don't they? They know exactly what you need. So let's see what are these achievements. Because I heard that you can get some um, iconic. I mean, didn't that what they say in the update? I haven't collected my achievements let's just click on them <gasps> there you have it okay so problem solved yep one two three four five six so i already got six iconic that's crazy and what do i have to do pretty much just forge another legendary and i'll get another iconic which is seven and then I need like another 28 special <laughs> talented. Oh my god. But yeah, I got seven. I mean, that's pretty good. I thought I, I, I won't get any of them. So let's just uh, claim all on this. Let's see exactly if it's six. Oh yeah, there is six iconic crystals that I just got from my achievements, which is pretty good. Special talents are not easy to come by. So that's pretty much about the Rock PC app and what they have added. And it's working pretty well in my opinion except a couple of things which you were able to fix it and yeah the, the fact that you can't see the dead troops other than that i think this update looks pretty cool and, and, and pretty amazing let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this update i kind of like it like 90 percent of it i think it's all good we we'll have to see the new crystal tech as well how good it is as an impact and how these crystal changes but that's going to be tomorrow so stay tuned for tomorrow video as well until next time this is your boiler journey signing off 
Peace out, y'all, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there, my friends. Thank you.